Now let's look at the following application. Photoshop A charges $1.60 to develop a roll of film plus 11 cents for each print. Photoshop B charges $1.20 to develop a roll of film plus 13 cents per print. For how many prints will the amount spent at each Photoshop be the same? What will be that amount? We're going to begin by designating our variables as x, and in order to figure out what x should be, let's think about what our question is. For how many prints is what we'll be looking for, and notice that as we're given the information about the fees from each Photoshop, they're told to us in relation to how many prints we have, so it makes sense to let x equal the number of prints. Now, we're given two more bits of information. One has to do with the charge from Photoshop A, and we can put that charge in terms of what's going on with the number of prints. In Shop A, the charge is going to be given to us as $1.60 plus 11 cents for each print. That's going to require us to then multiply 11 cents times X to give us the number of prints that we're going to be working with. Shop B. We're also going to be able to figure out the charge from Shop B by taking its flat rate, which is $1.20, and adding to that 13 cents per print. So we're going to be adding to that 0.13x. Now, in order to work with the problem, we need to set up an equation. We're interested in finding out the number of prints where the amount spent at each Photoshop will be the same. Since we're looking for the amount spent to be the same, that means that the charge from Shop A needs to be equal to the charge from Shop B. That's going to give us, dropping the dollar symbol, 1.60 plus 0.11x equals 1.20 plus 0.13x. Now we have an equation that we can solve. Let's rewrite that. When we want to solve for x, we can accomplish this by noting that we can subtract 11 hundredths x from both sides of the equation. That will allow us to have the variable expression only on one side of the equation. Let's subtract 11 hundredths, hundredths x from the left to give us 1.60. From the right, we'll subtract 11 hundredths x from 13 hundredths x. That will give us 0.02x. Next, to isolate the x term, we're going to subtract 1.20 from both sides of the equation. Subtracting $1.20 from $1.60 would leave us with 40 cents. Finally, we'll divide both sides of the equation by 2 hundredths. On the right-hand side, that will give us our value of x. On the left-hand side, we notice that we can move our decimal point two places in the denominator, do the same thing in the numerator. 40 divided by 2 gives us 20. And so in the problem, the 20, remember, stood for the number of prints where the amount spent at each Photoshop would be the same. Now, there was a second point that we were trying to make in the problem, and that had to do with the amount that would be spent at each Photoshop. We can take the number of prints, which is equal to 20, and we can take one of the expressions, for instance, the 1.60 plus 0.11 times our x value of 20 in order to evaluate the amount spent. That'll be 1.60 plus, multiplying here gives us 2.20, and we come up with a total of $3.80 as the amount that would be spent.